Hey. PJ. What you doing? Hey. PJ. PJ. Hey. What you doing? What are you doing, huh? <laughs> Morning, everybody. Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. Another nice day. I tell you, we're going to be wanting some moisture before long. It's getting dry. But uh, anyway, I got a couple of feeders I'm fixing to food with first thing. And I bought, brought my uh, safety belts, my, my safety, my rock climbing harness, uh, my saddle my little 0.5 stand and two sticks we got my bow i got a target down here when i get through fooling with these feeders i'm gonna see if uh i can climb a tree two sticks is all i brought normally that's probably what i'm gonna be using so set the target up i'm gonna try to do it just like hunting climb get, get used to my bow holder and all that stuff just hadn't done a lot of that i'm gonna see if i can when we get done fooling with these feeders so a little update on my back real quick uh <clears throat> after the doctor told me everything looked really good and we was gonna start the therapy and he called called it we got to break up the scar tissue a lot of y'all that's got it been through it know what i'm talking about i don't quite understand it but i know i'm getting tight and he said we were going to be doing some uh target them areas and specific stretching and stuff so I've got one of those, uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be a week or so. I actually missed one of my appointments because I didn't know about it. So it was gonna be some time in between uh, my first therapy session. So I've got one of those elliptical Bowflex things that I really like, used to get on it a lot. And uh, but anyway, I said, I'm fixing to get on this thing a little bit and just see what happens. So I've been doing that for several days in a row. And I think the doctor might be right because I definitely I ain't a hundred percent I ain't even probably 60 percent yet but I'm better than I was and uh I think we're on to something here but anyway enough of that we've been to try something uh, here this is one of the fire lanes that I made that we thin this it's just right behind the barn here um but boy got clover coming up good wheat's coming up good anyway we fixing to do some tree climbing practice just to see if I can. I'm gonna show y'all, I got my stuff, target and bow and everything in the back. Come on, PJ. Come on. Hey, come on. You're gonna get to run around. Hey, come here. Come on. Boy, that right there looks deer already nibbling on it. Look at that. Deer already eating on it. Right here behind the barn. See all the tracks? I was hoping this might happen. Yeah, they nibbling the tops off of that. That's gonna be good. All right, so here I'm gonna show y'all my plan to start off with. I'm always changing stuff, but I this is a my saddle. I got it. I gave Cody my other one last year or year before when I got this one. This one is made by Tethered. It's the John Eberhardt series probably showed y'all this before but it's called a two panel saddle these things actually these panels come apart and you can you can put it on your back and part of it under your butt and all but what from what i found y'all can see i took and zip tied it together both panels oh uh, and i actually some people may holler about it but i don't care i cut the uh, straps that go between your legs off because i don't think they do anything so let me get this you can hear that rattling but once i get it on and get everything right it's not gonna make any noise oh i'm still stiff and tight we're just gonna take our time i'm gonna show y'all what my plan my plan is here and and this thing i have my other belt and i left in the truck one reason i want to use this is because it is super light and i'm gonna double duty it with uh my safety harness oh let me get this thing turned down a little so i'm gonna 
double duty this as I said if I'm sitting in the tree on my hang on sitting down I'll use, I've will got another tether that I really like that goes to the tree, but this is my uh, my climbing tether. It's got the rope mum one on it. Really, if I can get it untangled, easy to adjust. So when I'm climbing, this will be my climbing belt. Also, of course, this is when I turn around. The reason I want to use this is I can, if I get to a tree and want to just sit, like uh in my hang on i can use this as my safety belt is what i'm gonna do and i can also if i decide i want to hunt with my stand saddle i'm ready to go too so this is going to double duty everything and plus this joker is light i got nothing that makes any noise anymore unless one of these rings hits that once i get up in the tree that's going to be out of the way anyway so, but what I do, when I get up in the tree, if I'm going to hunt like a saddle, I loosen this bad boy way up, and then I'll be tight right here from my tree tether, and I slide, the reason I tied it together, because I just don't like all that, and I'll slide this way under my butt, tied together, and then you're just, you're there. And I may have to adjust this a little bit. I haven't used this in just a whole lot, but I've used it enough to know that that's the way I like to do it. A lot more comfortable just having everything right up under your butt. And I really like the way this one floats on these D-rings. It's just a lot more comfortable. So anyway, all right, I'm fixing to get everything out. I got my normal custom .5 with just two sticks and get on this little tree right here. I'm gonna set my target out there and we're gonna go ahead and shoot and do everything. I'll probably put y'all on my bow or whatever to shoot. But uh, yeah, I'm fixing to see if I can climb. I feel pretty good today. All right, y'all, gonna take me a minute to get back in the swing of things because I've never used these sticks just a whole lot anyway. But I think we can, uh, I think we're gonna be good. I can remember how I got everything. It'll take a little while to get back get back in the groove. them apart too far. I don't want to do too much stretching. I'm going to go ahead and set my lineman's rope down here. I'm going to be doing a bunch of hanging and carrying on. to make me somewhere to hang this I get back in shape it ain't nothing to it probably put it right there for now About hang these things without the lime and rope, but I ain't doing that yet.
trying to make sure I don't get too far. On this first time. Pay attention, get all my buckle straight. Get it in a minute. I'm pretty close right there, but it don't matter for today's purposes. I normally would have my stand on my back and hang it right now, but I didn't do it today because I wasn't sure how it was all going to work out. All right, let's get the stand now. All right, got my stand on my back now. Got my strap in my pocket. Now he's up there and see how this is going to be. Could have spread them apart quite a bit further. Takes some getting back used to climbing, that's for sure. Setting it up to shoot right that way. bow rope down where I can pull my bow up. We got to work on our bow holder too. Just going to let enough out to get my bow up today. Feel pretty good. I could have spread that out another ten inches right here at least. No need in it. That's not too bad there y'all. I like it. Alright, got my bow tied up and just two sticks high. I don't know, I'm probably ten foot. If I was really in a hunting situation, see how the, we got these old gum trees or whatever right here? If I was to get in that tree right there, if the deer just say they was coming down through here, or that one back over there, it's probably about 20 from this lane. You're talking about a lot of cover right there. Or if we tried, did the saddle way, we could be on the back of the tree and have even more cover. So 
the height. What I'm getting at, all right, we look right here. I've told y'all this before, hunting in these pine trees. I don't know, I'm maybe 10 foot. I could have got a little bit higher. One more stick for sure. But I mean, right there in that little hole is about the exact height I'm at. And that's where the cover's at. If you get any higher, like I really used to like to hunt, you're just going to get sky lit. Or you got to get way up there. And then I don't like the shot angle. So I'm liking hunting low it's fun you got a good shot angle targets out there at 10 i mean uh 20 yards i'm just gonna set y'all back up here and y'all can see me pull my bow up and all that good stuff and i'm on i think i got six arrows we'll shoot them real quick right there another thing also i'm finna do too hunting low you need to be still even though we're gonna have some good cover we're pretty close to that line of sight so uh i'm think i'd have her shot a whole lot sitting down but i'm finna shoot these six arrows sitting down and uh just kind of practice with it and play a little bit all right let's head up and see if we can get this done my bow rope <sighs> see pretty good up here Twenty yards, sitting down. Let's see how we can do. That was a little low. Adjusted on my side a little bit yesterday. me on the first one. Gotta make that first one count. Gotta slow down a little bit. One more time. Not too bad, not perfect, but not too bad.
think the doctor's gonna be right on stretching this thing out. I think we're gonna be good to go. All right, I'm gonna show y'all my shooting. It wasn't the best, but black clover's coming up good. Wasn't just too bad. I'm still a little, a little bit low, but it may be me. Not a bad group. All right, y'all, here's something I want to try to utilize a little more this year is my quiet cat bike. Not being lazy or anything, but if I can cut down some steps till we really get this back back in shape, plus you can go in these things. I, I like the idea of going in on these bikes as far as you can because you leave zero cent on the ground. But so I'm trying to figure, I think if I can put my stand and my pack and all on my back, be real comfortable, but then you got your weapon. So got on Amazon, Coping bow rack, gun rack, shovel rack, whatever. I put them out these things on the handlebars and uh, we'll see how this bow fits. All right, I got it on here. I think that's gonna do pretty good. A little rattling, that's just my release. I take it off, it won't be any rattling. That's gonna be good. I like that hands free. You start trying to carry your bow and ride a bicycle, I'll be done wrecked. So it's gonna be nice right there. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Bible verse, still on the word plot. Proverbs chapter 30, verse, what are we on? 32. If you have been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have plotted evil, put your hand on your mouth. That means be quiet. Not a bad day today. Warmed up a little bit, but it's still cooler in this band. Me and PJ got a couple of things done this morning, and then we figured out that we can climb a tree. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to do it hard day in and day out. The bicycle's gonna help get me a little closer where I don't have to walk so far and get sore before I ever get started. I did add a stick to my stand when I got back. I just wanted to have three because probably not going to spread them apart as far as normal so it'll be easier climbing but uh still light got my backpack about half uh, organized a while ago everything pretty much but my bow re release and my camera so just kind of working and tuning on that i got another backpack coming eventually i'm going to show you all that it's going to work out good for what we're doing but anyway got a little more grass cut here still got some to do but i'm just kind of tinkering with that as we go but anyway Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.